We're returning to the Stone Age with the audio quality. Now I'm gonna force you to listen to every single time I touch the screen. You're gonna hear it. Huh. Make way for the most important season. Fat camp edits. Happiness edition. We're back, everybody. It has been too long, to say the least. I know for a fact that some of you are here for the familiar faces, but we're not really gonna talk about those for this segment. We're actually gonna be talking about fresh new familiar faces. That didn't sound right, did it? It was a little unfair that Vibri ended up being the only rhythm game character here, so might as well add in Parappa the Rapper as well. And what better way to represent Parappa is by teaming him up with his best friend, Morbius. Which I gotta say, congratulations on staying this relevant for this long. Then we have Lightning McQueen and Ringo Starr, Mr. Beast and Bill from It's Such a Beautiful Day. That all-time classic. Mime Jr. and Django. You know, the uh, the Jamie Foxx one, not the, the one from the 60s. Danny Elfman and Ruby Rose. Every single Teletubby. The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, to say the least. And last but not least, we are teaming up our bloodthirsty winner with the exact opposite. Let's do this. Walter White and Lala fight for a bag, but Lala gives up and retreats. You know, okay, that's not the most accurate way to go about things. Like, have you SEEN the size of those costumes? Alright, as per usual, everybody's either running away or getting some equipment. And lo and behold, Danny Elfman's the first one to find the titular camping equipment. And what's even worse, Dipsy also found some rope and a lighter. So it's starting to sound like a bad time of the month. Freddy Cougar kills Lightning McQueen with a hat- oh my god. Is this gonna be like last time where we got the first victim? and uh, he ended up winning the whole thing. I don't want that to happen, honestly. I don't want Freddy to win <laughs> two times in a row. Freddy's good to go and get the papers, get the papers. Bill takes a sickle from inside the cornucopia. I'm trying to say the Bill parts in a sort of Don Hertzfeldish way so that it actually fits his character. The Macintosh plus statue grabs a jar of fishing bait while Ringo Starr gets fishing gear. It's, it's gonna be kind of useless for both of you if you don't put two and two together. Leland Palmer and Poe fight for a bag. Poe gives up and runs. Okay, I, I'm proud of Leland for facing his fears and going up against that life-size Teletubby and winning. Yeah, I mean, normally a human being would be scared to go up against a, a Teletubby, but uh, Leland broke through the ice, apparently. Vivri finds a bow, some arrows, and a quiver. I think you're all set. Polo Bunny grabs a backpack, not realizing it's empty. Yeah, be like the other rabbit. All she needed was a bow. Walter White attacks Mr. Beast, but he manages to escape. I think Walter White wants that inheritance money. Ruby Rose, Vibri, Lula Bunny, and Maku Makanjoku raid Wingo Star's camp while he is hunting. Oh no. They, they took his drums. Later on in the game, Ringo is just gonna go up to Ruby and say, so, um, where's me drums? Sonic sets off an explosion, killing Freddy Cougar, Django, and half of the Teletubbies. Great, we're not even a day in and the crown is already up for grabs. Toad stalks Dipsy. I always feel like Five down, 19 to go. Parappa the Rapper had the balls to let a Teletubby into his shelter. Lola Bunny questions her sanity. It took you an entire month to do that? Mako convinces Walter to snuggle- Um. Toad shoots a poisonous blow dart into Danny Elfman's neck, slowly killing him. <laughs> well, that's- Simple Flips is awoken by nightmares of his- dead boyfriend Joel. Sonic receives clean water from an unknown sponsor, but then has Vietnam flashbacks back to the Labyrinth Stone incident of 1991. 
Lola Bunny attacks Poe, but she manages to- Oh my god, she's making her move! The Macintosh plus statue attempts to climb a tree, but falls on Parabola Rap, <laughs> killing a move! Oh my god! No! No, 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 Parappa can't die in that right now. He's gotta believe. I should retire from comedy. I am not a funny person. At all. I mean, I am just the saddest attempt at comedy. Toad refuses Leland Palmer's shelter, killing him. Toad, you monster. Well, the money trips face first into a puddle of acidic frit. Yeah, yeah. Putting your mind on murder could do that to you. You won't be able to think straight, and as soon as you know it, you've ended up... Sonic enters Vigory and leaves her in the rain to die. Well, that's just sad. Sonic, you monster. Ruby Rose shoves Simple Flips into a pond of acidic rain, but is pulled in by Simple Flips killing them both. Well, I guess you could say that victory wasn't in a simple soul after all. That's sad. Ringo is unable to find shelter and dies. But, 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 my drums. Geez, so many of my favorite characters are dying. It's honestly sad. Bill survives! Bill, Bill still has a chance. Tipsy trips face first into a puddle of acidic rain. Tisk, tisk, Dipsy. I drink your milkshake. Poe, Toad, Mime Jr., and Morbius form a suicide pack because why not? Just throw that in. There's just no predicting anything anymore. It's all just chaos. Walter White pushes Mako off a cliff during a knife fight, and Mr. Beast catches Sonic off guard and kills him. Like, Christ. Mr. Beast and Walter White threaten a double suicide. It fails and they die. And Bill just decides not to go to feast. <laughs> well done, Bill. Well done, Bill. <laughs> That was probably the shortest simulation thus far. Like, that only lasted two days. T t two days! I, I just don't understand. I mean, I'm glad that Bill won since he was one of my biggest bets, but geez, that whole suicide pack thing at the end was just such a disappointment. The Macintosh Plus statue was 18th. 18th! Leland Palmer was only 16th place! And that is where I'm sadly going to leave you for today. Yeah, I know you wanted to see more carnage, but who doesn't love a bit of carnage? But to be honest, just seeing the whole suicide pact to the end, it sort of made me feel sad. My face is fat.